The blessings of the father over the children are so important and powerful. It cannot be discountenanced nor brushed aside, and makes a whole world of difference in the child's destiny. Genesis 49 to 8 and 9, 8 Judah, your brothers will praise you. Your hand will be on the neck of your enemies, your father's sons will bow down to you. a lion's cub, Judah, you return from the prey, my son. Like a lion he crouches and lies down, like a lioness who dares to rouse him. Ten the scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he to whom it belongs shall come and the obedience of the nations shall be his. Above scriptures talks about a powerful pronouncement of blessings of Judah by his father Jacob. So powerful the blessing was that the genealogy and lineage of Jesus Christ is not complete. Without mentioning the tribe of Judah, hence, Jesus Christ is referred to as the Lion of the tribe of Judah, Matthew 1 to 10. To Abraham was the father of Isaac. Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Revelation 5 to 5 and IV, 5 then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep, see, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. When I see or hear of children being openly rude to their parents, I feel so sad as if I am bereaved, because I know the grave implications and consequences. Genesis 1, 2-3 and IV. To I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. 3. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Another powerful blessing of God to Abraham then, but... I believe God is speaking to you today as he did in Genesis 1.28. To your generation and even beyond in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Do have a fruitful week.